There you have it guys, a huge win for England tonight. We battered Wales and send ourselves through to the round of 16 in the World Cup. Trashed them in the end, thanks to the second half. Currently down here at the North Terrace in town, the atmosphere before the game was electric. And I'll be honest, I, I thought we would walk in and roll them over. They had to beat us 4-0 tonight to have any chance of getting through in this World Cup. And we went out there with the four at the back, the 4-3-3 with Henderson, Rice and Bellingham. I thought, have we gone a little bit over defensive? Is this Southgate, in fairness, doing what Southgate does, which is grind out results in tournaments. It's not necessarily the nicest football. We saw that in the USA game where it wasn't great. It wasn't fun. We walked into this game and I thought Wales would go for us. I, I thought they would... <sighs> There's a difference between Wales going for us and us just being better. Uh, Wales did not touch the ball in our box for the full first half. Uh, and as much as the first half was not the most exciting game we've possibly seen, we kept the ball, we had like 75% possession and it was it was doing a Southgate, it was doing a Southgate, it was keep the ball, win the game in the end, take us through to the next round. And in the second half we came out and we did that. Rashford, my word. Three goals in this tournament already. How good was the free kick that, in fairness, totally opened the game. The, the, the moment we scored was the moment Wales realised they had to do something. And the moment they took a step out of their box, we capitalised. Uh, and we are a better side, we have a better squad, we have better players. They brought Bale off at half time. I'm assuming he was injured. You would not imagine they would take him off any way, shape, or form other than that. But we control, and that's the th and that's the thing with Southgate. And you know, it's tough because you, you play the wheel, the USA game. Well, it was it wasn't good. We we have the players to go out there and be so much better than that USA game. The first half of that Wales game. We have the players to be so much better than that. But it's the Gareth Southgate way. It took us to a final. It took us to a semi-final. It's not always the most attractive football, but it is tournament football. And it is taking us to the next round. And we came out in that second half. It seemed like a refreshed team. We started making a few little changes, but I just felt like as soon as we got that, very, very good. I say I was I was gonna say a fantastic free kick from Rashford. If I'm gonna be super super critical, I think a top quality goalkeeper saves that. Ward actually takes a couple of steps the wrong way before he puts it in the far corner. But it goes in. I don't care how it goes in, it goes in the back of the net, and from there we capitalised. Uh, the Ford and goal came very, very quick after that. Slammed it into the back of the net from a defensive error. And it puts us through to the next round. And, and that's that, as I say, as much as we want to see nice, lovely football, as much as I want to see us go out from minute one and go and score goal after goal, the point is we won the game and it actually makes you look back on that USA game as a point at the time was disappointing and I felt we played poorly. But you look at the whole overall of of what this tournament is and, and it's made us through to the next round. And I, and I feel like this game will take us through with a lot of confidence going into the next round. But I feel like we've got a very good chance to take this tournament on a good go. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the game down below. Let me know specifically on your thoughts on players like Rashford and Foden coming into the fall today. I thought Foden looked very good. He got his goal. For me, if you talk about world class, Harry Kane's world class. I, I think a lot of us will agree that Harry Kane is world class. If you look after that, other than uh, Trippier, Wilson and Pope, you look at... 
someone like Phil Foden. I think I, I think the fact that Phil Foden has not been getting a game this tournament it, for me isn't right. I think I think Foden is world class. He, he turned up today. He scored his goal. He showed exactly what he can do, and I hope we can see a lot more of him in this tournament. Um, let me know your thoughts on some of the other changes that went on. Obviously, Trippier came on a little bit later, and especially in the first half with Shaw and Walker, the, the, the deliveries in the box weren't great in the first half. Harry Kane, who should be stood in the penalty box in the first half, wasn't there. Harry Kane kept dropping off. He kept Because he wasn't getting enough of the ball, he kept dropping off. I'm sorry, Harry. I know you want to be involved in the game all the time. Stand on the penalty spot for the whole game. We'll give you the ball. Please stop. Because he drops and he drops and he wants to have. But then when we get it out wide and we cross it in, he's not there to be seen. In fairness, Wales had like eight players in the box. So even if he was there, it could have been tough. But I felt like he... He didn't play to his strengths today. He could have been in, in and around that area a lot more. And he wasn't. So that's a few things that I would pick up on in this game. I'm also interested in the fact that we brought Kyle Walker in. Obviously, Kyle Walker is, is someone that Gareth Southgate is a big fan of. Is that because when we get to the later stages, Gareth will want to go back to his three centre-backs with... Walker in the centre backs and Trippier on the right, possibly. And is that the right or wrong thing to do? You let me know down below. Because once again, as I say, I'm, I'm happy that we did go out with the four three. We played a four three three. The three that we played in the middle, like Bellingham, once again, by the way, looked looked very good. The the, uh, the interchanges that he had a couple of times, where he flicked it round the corner and moved around. Was, was very nice to watch. I think playing Henderson and Rice in this game was a bit overkill. But that's me putting my Gareth Southgate head on again and thinking, is that because when we get to the later stages, he wants to play them three in the middle <laughs> with Walker at the back, with Trippier on the right. But it's better to get it right in a game like today so that when we get to the next round, we're ready, and, and and as I say, as much as I wanted us to, because we could have got out probably today in the way the Wales played with nobody anywhere near our goal. We could have played three, five, whatever. But if we did that, it throws everything out of whack. I feel like we're, we're trying to play a certain system that will work for the whole tournament. So as, as infuriating as the first half was, at least when we get to the next stage, Everyone knows what they're playing. They know what they've got to do. And hopefully, that will take us further. All right, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below. Who are you the most impressed with? Obviously, Rashford killed it tonight. Three goals this World Cup. That is he the top goal scorer so far this World Cup? If he's not, he can't be far off. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your man of the match today. Uh, great win takes us through see you at the weekend thank you for watching guys and i'll catch you later